I'm going to be doing a review on Nightwing issue 18. I bought this for $3 at my local comic shop. By the way, in case you are curious, yes, I am dressed as the 19, like, 60s Batgirl from the old Batman TV series. I absolutely adore this costume. I don't know if I'll be able to not wear this every day leading up to Comic-Con and then every day after. I would, I would go grocery shopping in this. I just think this is so awesome. I plan to do a whole video on this as like a review on it and everything. So yeah, but let's get right into the review because I'm sure you guys care more about the comic than my fashion statement. So, okay. As always, the first part of this review will be overall opinion, and I'll warn you guys before I start spoiling it, and I'll give you guys a chance to X out and all that stuff. So, overall opinion, this is an amazing comic. I really like this. It does. It's a great aftermath issue of the aftermath of Batman Incorporated number eight. It's perfect in just about every way. I think it shows just who Dick Grayson really is, the true person that is Dick Grayson and he's an amazing caring character and I think this issue just shows it in such an amazing light and I think this is this is both the comic we deserve and the comic we need right now. Now it is very sad as you can tell just looking at the cover it's heartbreaking but I think everything from the writing to most of the artwork I thought was just perfect. I don't really have a bad thing I can think of to say about it because I think it just it just shows every single thing I love about Dick Grace and every single thing I love about the character and it's an incredible aftermath issue too. I definitely highly 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 recommend it especially if you're a Dick Grayson fan because this just shows him in I think just how he deserves to be shown. It shows him how he really is. So that is my overall opinion. I obviously really like this comic. I definitely recommend going out and buying it. And now I will give you a chance to X out before I start spoiling the comic. I won't spoil everything, but I will spoil some key parts of it and quite a bit. So I do recommend that if you hate spoilers just all together that you X out, subscribe first. No, but X out if you don't want any spoilers. So I'll give you guys a dramatic long minute to do so. I really wish the Jeopardy the chip music wasn't copyrighted. In. Okay, so I think that was long enough. So if you're still here, you don't mind a bit of spoiler-ness. So, okay, now we get to open the comic, which is kind of hard to do with gloves. So it shows kind of a flashback of the issue before when Damien was talking to Dick Grayson and kind of comforting him and telling him that like tr trust in people is what makes Dick Grayson who he is. And then it shows Dick Grayson um, standing in a graveyard and him just thinking about the death of his parents and then thinking of Damien. And it really shows just Dick loved Damien. He really did. He, Damien was Dick's little brother. And it's just, it's watching, it's knowing your family, a member of your family just died. It's heartbreaking. I, I can't imagine losing a sibling. I never want to have to imagine losing a sibling. Um, my sister Skylar has some as SMA type 1 and one time we were she was very ill and I remember she was unresponsive this is getting into a personal story I remember she was unresponsive on a stretcher on the way to the hospital and I just remember looking in her eyes and she just wasn't able to sense really that I was there and I just remember that heartbreaking moment of just complete and utter panic where you're so worried and then I just can't imagine having that moment and then having the moment where you know the person's gone that they can't come back I do think Damien has a chance of coming back this is a comic world in a Batman universe where people like Jason Todd came back so he could come back but at this moment knowing that someone you love is dead and they're not coming back it's heartbreaking and it shows how he's having a very emotional time without Damien even ends up chucking his phone at the wall. 
out of just despair that he's gone. It shows that he bought the video game that Damien told him he should get and Dick said he'd get in the last issue. And then after having a time out for coffee, I'm not going to spoil everything in this. I'm leaving just, ju I'm just spoiling certain parts. I'm not going to say what happened during them. But then he runs into Batman who brings him to an auction where they'll be auctioning off his father's um, the Flying Grayson uniform, and Dick goes to save it, but he ends up, he has a choice pretty much between saving the costume or saving the people who just a few m moments earlier wanted him dead, and it shows just who he is. He'd rather save the people than save a costume that meant the world to him. And he said, it wasn't the costume I cared about, and given the choice, I know it never would be. So, like I said, it just shows how much Dick Grayson just... He's just is who he is. He appreciates life. And then it shows him going to Damien's grave and saying he's still upset with him for having to go and save the city and dying. And that's a common thing you hear a lot, that some people are upset with people when they're, they die sometimes. Um, and then he leaves the game, he told Damien he'd get him on Damien's... I got emotional when reading that he left the game on the stone. And then walks off. And then it ends with a giant cliffhanger. I'm for sure buying the next comic of this. Like I said, this was just an all-together incredible issue that showed Dick Grayson in, an, in the light he deserves to be shown in. And like I said, heartbreaking cover, heartbreaking issue of a comic, but an amazing one, no less. I'm very happy to have this as a part of my comic book collection. It can go join its comic family after this review. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I highly, highly, highly recommend getting this. Hope you guys enjoyed my costume. Should I like grab the cape and do like a little like, well, that's not right. I hope you guys enjoyed the costume. There we go. And sorry, Sock Monkey Robin, I didn't mean to. Have a terrific day, everyone. Bye.